to clarify guys sentence. we dropped out right but in our heads it's a gap year yes but we gap dropped gap. out but yeah okay let's dodge it let's see cheers <laughs> Is. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm so happy. So guys, I'm back to you with an update. This is like a proper life update. We are coming back from a video we did last year. Look how much we love you. We are going to update you on our last video that we did, which was a law school dropout video. So yeah, we posted a video last year. Please go check it out if you haven't. But yeah, we just spoke about how we dropping out of law school, which we did. And 2019 has been a horrible year for us. And we're back here in 2020. And we want to tell you guys how it went. Actually, I have to say that was like the best video on my channel so i'm assuming that people liked it people were interested people watched it people want to hear what we up to right now so i did the right thing for you guys <laughs> i brought back the one and only your girl <laughs> delicious <laughs> So yeah, we thought we should come back and update you guys mm -hmm. on what we've been up to and We're gonna do it in a very good way. We are doing it in a mukbang style I don't think you'll be able to see I'm gonna try but if you can't This is what we having If you can't I'm just gonna tell you guys we have buffalo wings from spur with chips and some onion rings. Mm. So it's kind of yeah. dull. We tried to get veggies and say they don't have. You yeah. guys know it's Corona time. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Without wasting any time, Han. Mm -hmm. Let's get straight to the video. We're so happy. Thank you for coming, yeah. Han. Here we go. Cheers for coming. I've been trying to get this bitch here, guys. <laughs> Ooh, and I'm here now. This is good. I'm here now. Mm -hmm. It is good. This is one of the crucial topics we have yeah. on my channel. Mm -hmm. Dropping out of law school has been really sad and yeah we we have a video guys please go check it out but we were so sad the last time we couldn't even do makeup like i remember us saying let's just sit yeah. and talk about how we feel in our gowns in our in night our gowns. gowns and it was the afternoon but we were yeah. from campus yeah. stressed as fuck excuse my language but we were not okay <laughs> and we were like let's just sit and do it Hi Hans, oh, welcome back to my channel. Yay, Guzo, I'm Nandi today. So we are officially law school. Drop out. <laughs> Did I say it right? Uh, everything, we just left everything in God's hands, guys, at this point. Like, he just has to show us the light. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna actually kind of give it to my friend. Let's see what she has for y'all. I'm gonna <laughs> ask her a question to make it easy for us to update you so i'm gonna be asking her questions then i'll answer on my part as well because i think yeah it'll be fair okay yeah, sense, yeah. yeah so the first question what have you been up to since you dropped out um in 2020 we are shooting in june yeah it's june today? i think it's the 24th doesn't matter yeah, <laughs> yeah. so it's the 24th it's today <laughs> it's june <laughs> it's june 2020 I, has your life changed um from has it changed <laughs> to better or worse since you dropped out of law school okay all right so motherfuckers hope y'all good we are i think we are glowing now i think i'm glowing i don't know about her i'm great honey. i think i'm glowing yeah things have changed i mean um i think i'm more happier now like i'm more stress-free um mm. my mm. skin is getting clearer <laughs> i think when i have stress i get a whole bunch of pimples so i don't know if you guys can see but then i have a whole bunch of pimples on me like marks but now i haven't had any pimples at all only just like one here and there and i've gained a bit of weight which i struggle with but <laughs> i gained a bit of weight which is also good and yeah i've been a bit more free now because mm -hmm. um last year last year was rough guys like last year was rough if you sh she said you should go back and check the video it was really rough i don't think i looked 
this happy or this good or anything like that i think I, every time i look at myself i'm like what the hell didn't look good at all yeah man. so now i feel like okay I'm, I'm a bit more happy that um i'm free i'm kind of like free from the vet stress and everything so i've been having fun i've been having fun other than having fun i've been busy with my music which i've been i have had time to do that i've been going on dates which i have time to do that now i love that <laughs> it's so difficult when you're there and yeah i feel like i've been more happier if you you can <laughs> if you can just see if you can just see there's nothing else than stressing you so basically yeah. you've been chilled yeah, i've been chilled i have time to do my own things now like yeah. i have time to go do whatever i want to do i have time to read other books outside of law school i have time to have fun to like talk to friends i feel like i'm more attached to my friends now than yeah. i was previously yeah. i'll tell you this okay, do you think right? you, you you're better off now i think i am i think okay. i'm more happier i think i'm not more stressed i feel like i am more conscious of who i am okay than i was before because before i didn't have i was not really conscious like i had to huddle everything into one yeah. which was quite difficult so also i don't think i've been to vids i don't think i've been to campus that much this year she actually when i told her i met but she's like what the hell are you doing there like sometimes i kind of like miss you know the whole ptsd thing where you wake up and you think i dream about missing exams i dream about writing exams and them not going well and stuff like that that's okay for me to dream about them than to go through it i think that's better now what what the biggest thing the change on my side is also the stress um i feel not just the stress um this because stress makes me sick so the sicknesses i swear to god even flu hasn't come and it's winter <laughs> to show how healthy i am even during corona time during corona time nothing was <laughs> a problem i swear to god like i ain't trying to even clouds guys I've been so happy this year. So the stress and the sicknesses, because whenever I'm stressed, I get sick. And last year it got bad. Like, you know, I have headaches. Mm -hmm. My headaches got better. Um, exercising, because I gained a lot of weight last year. Mm -hmm. So that changed. I had time for myself. I was able to do a lot of things that I, I wanted to do. So I'm happy that I dropped out, basically. Yeah. I also wanted to say, when you edit on your whole illness thing, you had hives last year. Remember, I was not around and you told me. Yes, okay. I got hives at mm -hmm. some point. I, guys, I get sick. <laughs> for real. When I'm stressed, I get sick. And I think it got worse last year mm -hmm. because last year's stress was for real, guys. Mm -hmm. The drop out was... So basically, I'm happy that I did it. So I'm happy that you had me. Mm -hmm. So the next question is, um, how did your family react to your drop out at school? Okay. <laughs> that's so difficult because <laughs> i feel like my family didn't know they yeah. knew but they didn't want to accept it okay. because um every time i had to explain to them that i don't want to go back next year i think they took it as a joke yeah the whole time but i kept saying yo i'm stressed you remember last year i was calling my mom like yo i can't do this no more um next year i just need to take a break and everything but um once i told them this year i think this year when it was time to register yeah. and I was just not going back and registering. They kept wondering why. They kept calling me, asking me, like, how is it going? Are you registering and everything? And I had to tell them that no. I think my mom understood that I don't want to go back. I'm taking a break. Yeah. My dad is such a school guy. Like, he's into school. So he didn't understand. He called and he's like, um, you can back at school now. You can go register. Can't you go register? I'm like, register what? <laughs> yeah. So how how did you actually, like... Put it also to your parents when i told them when when they said go register what did you say um with my dad i think i just told them I, okay with my dad because he told me to go register after like during level four i was like it's too late now i can't register like there's no way i can do that i just i also told him like i'm tired i can't do it and he keeps he kept on urging for me to go back and i'm like i can't i'll do it next year i keep putting this thing i'll do it next year which is true i think i will do it next year you will do I it next will year do it she next wants year. to do it next year i want to do it next year <laughs> it's just that this year i needed a break i can't take it now because mm -hmm. of the things that happened last year not last year only the years before but last year i think that's when i felt the pressure because we were a bit higher in the level than we were yeah so everything just got worse 
So when he told me, when he told me to register, I actually called you and I'm like, Han, my dad says I must go and, and register. What the hell? Yeah. It was me. I was like, but we are not <laughs> students this year. My mom is a bit more chilled. My mom is not really on like ah, education kind of thing, but she loves education, but she won't really force me or whatever. She knows what we feel. Cause I feel like I'm more open with my mom, like explaining like, okay. Cause she called me every time last year I'm at school. I'm like, yo, we haven't slept for like days now. We're still here. I'm stressing. I can't do this. I'm panicking. She's the one who went through she all that. Yeah, yeah. 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 She's yeah. the one who went through all that with me. Okay. So I think my mom understood when I told her that I want to take a break. Okay. So on my part, guys, mm -hmm. um, I feel my parents were very supportive. Very, it's probably stretching it because they, <laughs> they were not happy at first. <laughs> Maybe very stretching it, but eventually, like as I'm sitting here, my mom and my dad know I'm shooting a YouTube video. Mm. So I believe that they were supportive. But let me tell you guys, it was not easy. It was not easy. Um, I remember when I told my dad, I said, "Look, uh, actually, I didn't even tell my dad. Thank God, <laughs> someone asked me if I'm going back to school next year. Am I finishing next year, whatever? So I hinted my dad, nah." Because he always checked if I was doing well at school. Now, I hinted him to say, look, um, next year, I think there's going to be a break next year. That's how I put it. <laughs> there's going to be a break next year. And then at some point while we were chilling at home as family, my brother asked me um, if I'm finishing next year. He was like, oh, so next year you're doing your final year. I said, well, I was meant to, but... I'm off. <laughs> um, I want to actually explore YouTube, explore my makeup, cause I've been getting clients last year and it was kind of going well, so I was happy. And then I said, Dad, um, actually I was gonna tell you, but that was my way to tell him. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, Dad, I was going to tell you that I think I should take a gap year and I'll go back the other year. Even though he thinks I dropped out, he's like, you are done. A part of me is like, this is a gap year. If I dropped out, guys, it means, it will mean that I'm doing well this year. Yeah. You get me? My mom actually is more like my dad because yeah. I think they have bedroom talks mm -hmm. where it's like, <laughs> okay, talk. let her be. <laughs> Um, you were saying that December was a bit difficult for you. How was it difficult for you? December because yeah. they were waiting for my results and They didn't know yet. I told them in Jan. They didn't know yet that um, I'm gonna I'm not going back to school. Mm. So I'm glad I got a platform to clarify that I'm not re registering this yeah. year. So when Corona came it was like a bonus for me that okay kids are not at school so there was no questions for me, but they had already knew then. I was like, I don't think I'm going back to school this year. Sorry. Okay, can I just say on the part where you're saying you they were anxious about your results and everything? Yeah. I'm. I think I'm the one who's more anxious on my own results. I don't check my results. I've never ever since I hit, like I stepped. No, actually in high school, mm -hmm. I don't think, even think it has to do with this. Ever since I stepped in high school, I've never really checked my results. I always check them when I have to go register every year. So even at the end of like, you know, in high school, they give you your results at the end of the year. Yeah. I always went when people went to fix their results, but I always went for the vibe. <laughs> I always went for the vibe for afterwards going to chill. And so you're still and the same person. Yeah, I'm still the same person. I went to chill and then I never got my results. They had to always send them through. And when they send them through, my dad opened them for me, right? I know I, I'm it's not I'm saying like I'm dumb I'm not I know I've probably done well but it's like am I pleasing like the people that are going to look at them am I is it is it good enough for you yeah is it like good enough you know for me it's like I have to go apply for me applying they'll let me know what I'm applying for that's when I'll know okay I made it or I didn't you get it yes yeah. Can it's you guys true. imagine? She she doesn't know whether she passed last no, year or not. She decides to go back next year. Um then we, she will check her results. Yeah. I know my results. Yeah, I know knows. what I'm going to register <laughs> for. I know what I did well in. I know mm. what I need to improve on. Mm. So that's good. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Um, we want to know. Delicia. Mm -hmm. Delicia. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Were you scared that your friends will feel like you're a failure? Maybe you shouldn't deregister from yeah. low school. Yes. Or you had a friend that probably told you it's okay because i feel like i'm the friend that knows your law yeah, you school know business. you know a lot i know your, your <laughs> law school business i did there's no way you can't have pressure from friends especially that 
your parents kind of because they know your friends yeah so they keep telling you um how about that one how about that one and so you like, had that yeah um, crazy. I, I have pressure for my friends because my friends have been doing well and it's okay like most i feel like all my friends have been doing well i feel like i've been doing well as well i don't yeah. think i don't doubt where i am you've just been doing different things yeah i've just been doing different things i don't doubt where i am i feel like i'm where i should be right now and they are where they should be as well yeah so i've ha had other friends who don't know like some still don't know that i've dropped out mm -hmm. some still don't know what's happening in my life right now yeah and um every time they ask me i don't have i don't really feel pressure for them mm -hmm. but with their comments it's it's i think that's what matters because sometimes they bring it in as in like you know like what are you doing it's like they're doubting you they don't really understand and they don't want to dig in I, I i have to comment on that mm -hmm. i feel like the, the friends that do that like they give you pressure mm -hmm. simply because they haven't seen where you yeah been, what you really go through mm -hmm. because you talk to them on the phone yeah and because i was there i react differently mm -hmm. because i see that you're not okay it or you're not it. doing well because this thing is just not it's taking a toll on you mm -hmm. right so i guess that's just like for friends like that are like that like you gotta understand the person like don't be quick to judge yeah and um, also it's like those things where it's like some friends like we don't all grow in the same way one thing i would like to say to everyone we don't all grow in the same way we all grow in different ways somebody takes a different route somebody takes a different route even though you're from the same route you get to a place places where which is okay yeah they just kind of spread out so people don't really understand the route that i took and they they, they keep trying to drag me into their route yeah. i understand friends where they they know what they wanted to do from the get-go and they're there right now and then there's some who do, are doing what they're doing they don't love it but they just went ahead and settled but i feel like i'm not that type of person like when i'm not happy i'm not happy so sure. what i did one for my friends though was the support some of them didn't say anything except they were just like okay we're supporting that's you that's what you're doing yeah, yeah. Like, that's what you're doing it's okay like we have no say we can't say anything about it and then some have actually understood and i appreciate the ones yeah. who have understood what i'm going through telling me that you know what they're going through the same thing so they understand where i am right now but pressure from friends i felt it but the nice thing about it is i didn't let it get me anyway like even though i felt it i didn't let it dictate where i'm gonna end up or what i'm gonna mm. do i went mm. with what i wanted to do mm. no matter how they felt that was beautiful yeah yeah that was great yeah so you took ownership of yeah i took ownership story. yeah 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 cabbage on the friends part i feel because i think i, I don't have a big circle so that can help me mm -hmm. i think if I, I i i choose like if i count the friends i'm very close with it's like three or four people <laughs> So because it's three or four people and the best thing about it we are not hectic like my best friends like that i can point they're not hectic mm. starting from you but it's like we are not hectic <laughs> if i say look <laughs> this is what i'm going through and i'm doing this we are okay with it support cool. yeah so like my other friends live on now when i spoke to them i was like guys um not at school i don't want anything to do with school this year I'll see next year. I think I want to do honors or something. Or I'll finish law. I don't know. Just don't mm. ask me too much about school. That's how it's been. Like they understood. So I had it better. Although there was pressure that, um, like I thought of it. I was like, oh my God, they're going to think I'm a failure. Mm -hmm. They're going to look down upon me. I don't know whether they did. But the friends, I, I call my friends now. I think they okay with my situation they understand where i'm coming from and look like i said in my mind it's a gap i'm not dropped out so i, I was like to them look guys i'm taking a gap break, a break. Mm. so i do want to go back but i'm not sure so <laughs> <laughs> I, I, i've told my friends and i told them after i graduated from the bcom thing i'm like i'm going into law it's like they can't accept it so it's like kind of you're working now and i'm like what the fuck kind of friend are you i've been telling you so many times that i'm um, it's like your friend doesn't now. know what you've been yeah it's like they don't know but then no matter how many times you tell them what you're up to 
they don't keep up because they still have this thing in their head. Maybe it's because where they are, I, I feel like that's you. where you should be. I hear yeah. you. And, and it's not the same journey. I feel like also that like there are people like to I'm not trying to defend your friends, but mm -hmm. there are people <laughs> that sometimes ask questions and they're unconscious of how it will make you feel because they're not thinking too much about the thing. So some people will come ask and be like, um, oh um I thought you finished. Yeah. Which is rude. Mm -hmm. Which is not like it, yeah. it's not good. It's not a good question yeah, to ask someone. Yeah. Oh, I thought you finished law. Are you gonna do your articles next? Yeah. Year? Maybe the well, reason why I take it personally is because I I pay attention to what they say. Yeah. So I know where they are. So where they tell me when they I can I can legit say where they are even yeah. though they don't know where I am. I so I think that's the thing that hurts because I I've, I've been telling you it's like it's not the first time I've told you this many times before every damn time. I think I have like three two friends. Yeah. Two, three friends that I know me and them are just vibing on anything that's a vibe. If I say, bitches, I'm done with school. They must just get yeah, it. I'm done with school. You are part of part of my crew. I'm telling you now. <laughs> if you don't you I knew that you uh, I don't feel like you have to tell me. Like even if I'm not a part of your crew, bitch, I'm forcing myself. <laughs> So I yeah, um, you you because you never fought. <laughs> yeah, uh, my friends are slid guys. Like <laughs> they understood if I'm stressed and I'm not doing well mentally because of what I'm doing. And you know I can be better in YouTube. Yeah. You know I can be better in singing. You know I can be better in fucking acting. Support that shit. Even if they're not supportive, mm. but if they say something, they should say something substantial. Oh like, yeah, they say something that yeah. has a point where I'm like, it okay, must be just. Me. I get it. It shouldn't be like throw like, thing. But like you're hitting me with a clap, and then now I'm just like, what the hell? Why did yeah. you do that? You yeah. know, it should come from. If you feel like okay, this is not right, tell me why. We're all from the same root, but we're spreading out into a different tree. Like you have those leaves, you have that branch, you have that branch. We all have different branches. You can't expect me to go into the same branch as you. Do you get it? Great. Yeah. Great. I, I support that. I know you support guys, I know you comment down it. below. What do you guys think? Like when people um disagree with something or they see something wrong, like they should have something substantial mm -hmm. to say. Or one can just criticize and say, Well, I'm not sure what you should do. Not yeah, that. that's okay too. That's okay too. Maybe they should just say it because that's yeah. why they criticize and hang in the air. Yeah. Like, hey, um, that's wrong and they move on with their lives. This this wrong in what sense? Like you need to be substantial. This is also not coming from from friends also, like only. It's also coming from family. Family does that everyone as well. else. Yeah. yeah. Whether it's cool or anything. I love that we kind of expanding. This applies to anything else. Life in Once, general. Life in general. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. By the way, okay. I've had like people texting me, inboxing me, mm -hmm. um, asking me if we've dropped like if I've like they'd say I watched your YouTube channel, yeah. like yeah, and we saw that you guys dropped up uh, out of law school. Oh, they saw the video that yeah, we had. Yeah, that we yeah. had. Yeah. Did you drop out of law school? Like I've had people asking me if we actually did drop out. Yeah. And I think this is like they'd probably ask, okay, if you dropped out, like what's happening now? Like oh yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Is it okay? Did you really drop out? And yeah, did you really? What are you up to? What's happening okay. now? What so, you say? Yeah, though I did tell them, okay, yeah, I have dropped out. Like most of them, I actually did say that yeah, we've dropped out. Um. And it's been okay, but then the thing is, um, I think we felt okay with dropping out. I didn't say this to them. We were happy. Yeah, yeah. but I feel like we were happy with dropping out. We actually also, didn't want to explain a lot to yeah, people on the last day. We wanted to be okay within yeah. ourselves, yeah. so we didn't tell a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. probably because we had something to fall back on. Yeah. So we have like degrees where we can go and search for jobs in. Probably that's why we felt comfortable with leaving, just to, like taking a break, just for a bit. It's not like we just leaving because we have like absolutely nothing actually that's yeah. true <laughs> i think that's what made us feel better yeah, that's I, i'm true. not saying that people who don't have anything to fall they don't have it yeah. yeah but yeah. i think you should trust yourself it's all about trusting yourself if you believe that you could make it without being there then great that's brilliant yeah i guess that's all that also like goes out as an advice yeah. it's good that you drop out knowing what you do also sometimes it's okay to drop out knowing that yeah. you go back you don't have any other plan. Yeah. You just want to clear your mind because mental illness is real. Like mm. you need to clear yourself. If you are not okay, yeah. then go back. Yeah. So yeah, we had a second, like kind of something to fall back yeah. on, as she says. Yeah, we really did. Even we actually have two more things to fall back on because even if it's not a degree, we believed in ourselves. We knew we could. 
get some even without them like which is the things we want to my like, youtube now. yeah i do makeup and i was already making money from that yeah and my music and she got yeah music. so we, we we had more things to fall back on i feel like as long as you know you have something to but like you're just not dropping out and sitting at home and just sitting and doing nothing yeah you yeah. gotta have a plan yeah that's important yeah yeah i think the plan is important okay yeah. so um i'm gonna have one last question for my friend and we answer that together <laughs> and we will be out here yeah. what's right. your plan from here on these are some of the questions i actually asked from like instagram and facebook people i thought like i should just make it general i think people wanted to know what's your plan from here like you dropping out what do you want to do like okay you know i i i want money money is so important but anyway i need money so you know i've been applying for jobs and yeah. everything and i think um the lockdown kind of ruined things even though yeah the lockdown kind of ruined things but not to touch on that it did ruin things even last year i've been busy with my music so yeah. this year i actually even had um i've had a time to finish two projects yeah yeah i finished a project with bless music yeah yeah which we dropped and everything and then now i have these guys go check out of me yeah oh my god you do. <laughs> she's a good singer guy yeah. okay anyway yeah yeah and then i have my project coming in in august yeah and i think for me right now that is just me pushing it um yeah i think i should just push that for now because there's really nothing to do because i'm not registered i can't do anything it's locked down there's really not much to do mm -hmm. other than me applying for jobs on the side and trying to get a job even with the high unemployment rate right now it's I don't so even bad. Know. yeah it's really horrible i don't know what's gonna happen but i have plans outside which is me dropping my music in in august i see and then yeah okay yeah um i want to also work full time and also we kind of um want to make content like we in social media a lot but i'm gonna actually be drastic on youtube i'm gonna be drastic on my makeup as soon as everything opens please book me for makeup yeah <laughs> she's, yeah she's amazing currently i'm busy with youtube um doing my makeup stuff mm. and i'm trying to register a business and yeah. no we'll we... talk more about it yeah D as well. Yeah. We wanna actually register We've together. We've had certain list. like meetings. Yeah, yeah, a whole bunch of meetings this year. It's not easy. It's not really it's the not easiest easy. thing to do. It's not easy. You have to like have connections. You have yeah. to follow. You have to understand what people are doing and and what's happening. Even though we we don't wanna have the same. Pe I think I think is we wanna have something different. We yeah. have to not just be the same as other people and stuff because I feel like. Being different is what sells. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So we're trying to venture into our own thing and have a different thing going on, but it's still not easy because you're starting from scratch and also the thinking of whether it's gonna work or not yeah. or whatever. But we've tried. We we've had yeah that delays us. Yeah. Like the thinking and yeah. Us, yeah yeah actually basically run a business together. Yeah. So that is what we're busy with and our arts yeah basically. on the side yeah. yeah so um that brings us to the last question mm -hmm. um are you planning to go back to school <laughs> anytime soon are you planning to finish your law degree and any advice for dropouts okay of course i'm i'm planning on finishing um law okay. i'm planning on going back actually okay. i think we should go back next year okay um, I don't know where it does not matter where i think what matters is that we finish because we kind of had a, a love hate relationship with Vince. yeah yeah so we could go somewhere else yeah or finish it but we'll see we'll yeah. register in different institutions yeah and see which one takes us yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think they will take us it just depends where we want to go Birds will take us because yeah. we're really yeah. part of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to yeah. actually take other institutions and see because we want to be flexible yeah remember your mom did say um she was talking to us um saying that um we left school we dropped out we're like no we did not drop out we, we didn't drop out took a break we exactly, went back exactly yeah <laughs> so also we actually like we meant it it's not that we we're trying to like yeah. fool her or anything yeah. we meant it we want to yeah, yeah 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 we just don't want to tell them when so that by the time we decide we're not going back next year they're not surprised yeah. we just want no everyone to know we are out of school yeah. and by the time we decide we go back at our own pace, mm -hmm. on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, we love law, and we we love law. Ah, we love law, honey. We love law. <laughs> we talk about it all the time. Yeah. Everything we do, we put it 
to end there exactly. and shove it in there and find explanations exactly. as to what is happening because of law. So we love law and we should finish. We are gonna finish. We want to finish. We, we have to finish this. We want to finish because we think that's really our passion. Yeah. We believe in actually learning mm. about your rights mm. and the law in general. Yeah. Whether it's this country or any other, yeah, and yeah, we yeah. wanna explore law. Yeah. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so, what's your advice for dropouts? Um, my advice, my advice is that do you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, the thing that I had a problem with is I was never doing me. Yeah. I was hardly ever doing me. I always tried to please other people instead of like putting my emotions first and how I felt. I'm only the one. I feel like you were there with me and uh, like other friends were with us. Yeah. You know that we really did struggle and the uh, people who were outside of it did not really know what we were going through. But I really did struggle and it's not even in, 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 in case of like I didn't know what I was doing. We knew what we were doing. It was just a lot because it's really a lot of like this after this after this after this after this you have no time to breathe breathe do you man like as long as you know you have a plan and you know you're like i wouldn't advise anybody to just leave to say okay i'm leaving this because i can't do it but have no other plan afterwards because we are adults now we're grown you have to make you your own to way take care of yourself. yeah you, it's, it's your time now to like you have to prove yourself you have to m take care of yourself now yeah so as long as you have a plan and you and you believe in your plan and you think your plan is gonna work nobody else can stop you so just do what you want to do even though people might not understand a lot of people haven't understood exactly yeah there's nothing better than doing what you believe in and because yeah. you're gonna kill what you believe in actually yeah it, it's like your passion yeah follow your heart yeah yeah okay before I get to my point I want to say we're not discouraging anyone on education. Yeah, but education is very important. It's important. Do Please. it. We have something Please. to know about education. Education is important. That's why. I was just telling her that I feel bad that I haven't been reading books. Yeah. I just want to be reading novels now to keep my brain active. That's how important education is. Mm. So please, we're not discouraging anyone. You could really learn from yeah. them. You could really learn from the next person. Mm. You don't have to be at school. Because I think we're just consumed by the environment it's, as well. It's what we're personally going through. The we are in. Yeah. yeah. The environment. Yeah. Should you need to recover, recover. And keep learning. And go back. And keep learning. Even go back though you're out of school. Go back to learning. Even though you're out of school, keep learning. Exactly. Well, even though you say you haven't, you, you, you think you haven't really been reading a lot of novels. We've been reading though. Uh, even though it's yeah, not as much saying. as we should be reading. Yeah. But I think it's because I want more for myself. Yeah. yeah. But we've been waking up reading. We've been we've been reading, trying to keep up and everything. Even though it takes I, a while to finish a book, whatever. We're still trying to learn. I just put a bit of pressure on myself. Yeah, yeah. You you're thinking, yeah, you're yeah. taking too much from yourself. Like, yeah. You should just go with with So I guess it's good also to just them. keep reading a novel yeah. every morning. Whatever newspaper or online. It's good. The mind should always be active. Keep your mind active. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Yeah. I guess that's my advice, guys. Like, just keep your brains going. Yeah. That's all. So, yeah. All in all, can you say you're happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. very happy. I think I'm doing. <laughs> I'm so happy, I guys. I'm happy. All in all, I also want y'all to see the glove. <laughs> Do you think we left out anything? We okay. should maybe have other people who can uh, who can comment. Maybe we should have um, Jackie. Our um, friend yeah. Jackie is still at risk. She did with us. She must come and date us on yeah. how. Oh, it's even a good story yeah. because she took a gap year Last and she's year. back now. Yeah. So I'm gonna bring her to my yeah. channel so she updates you guys on how it is when you have a gap year and come back. Yeah. So she should she should be here soon. Yeah. She should be here soon. So, yeah. yeah. Call. <laughs> even though what we're saying, maybe it will be better at hearing from other people. Actually, yeah, what they say. Actually, yeah. Thank you guys for <laughs> tuning in. I really appreciate the support. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and please share with um, some of your friends, your siblings, your homies that are at university, whoever that's going through what we went through, and we're trying to advise them on. Please uh, share with the video or advise them to watch and. Maybe subscribe. Yeah, thank you so much, friend, for coming. You're welcome. You thank know, you I'm so always there. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. I'll give you a channel anyway. So. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, for anything else that you would like to know, actually, please don't forget to check the video actually that we did. Yeah. If really you sweet. haven't, so you actually know why we're doing this update. So and man, thank y'all for having me and, and tolerating me. And don't forget, link is the bio, it's right there. Just 
Check it out, check it out. We love you so much, yeah. D. I love you too, honey. Success, comment down below. Let us know how D was. She's always amazing anyway. <laughs> but y'all, yeah, uh, we love you so much. Please don't forget to tune in for the next video. I'll see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm. We love y'all. Bye. Some call her Missy. Yeah, she's a queen. A boss, a pretty beep.